So this video is about how to construct a ray diagram to work out where an image is formed. Now in this case here, what we have is a focal point here and we've got the object quite far away. So perhaps we have something a bit like this. And when you look at something uh, which is quite far away from a converging lens, what we see is that the object uh, is basically upside down and it can be magnified. Now, the way to do that is we basically, in this case, we're just going to draw the object as an upwards arrow. And you've got to remember that often a real object, there's going to be reflected light coming off from all parts of it in all directions. Now, what we're going to do is consider basically the top part of this object, and we're just going to consider two rays of light. Now, you know, they, they go out in all directions. We're just going to consider two of them. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to think about what happens to light which comes parallel to this principal axis axis and also what happens to light that goes straight through the center of the lens. Now we've got to imagine that this is a very thin lens and uh, in the middle what we have in this middle of the lens is basically a uh, parallel sides and because we're going to assume the lens is quite thin that means the light that goes into the center of the lens just passes straight through in a straight line. So if I draw it here with my ruler um, the other thing I'm going to do is for, for ease of kind of construction I'm going to use different colors. I'm going to use blue for the light that comes from the top of the object, goes through the centre of the lens and then just keeps moving. So using a ruler to make sure it's a nice straight line, and I'm also going to put a couple of arrows to show which way that light way ray is travelling. Now the other ray of light uh, I'm going to think about is a ray of light that comes off and travels parallel to the principal axis. Now um, from the work we've done already, you should remember that any rays of light that, tra that are travelling in a parallel line they all converge at the focal point, which I've just marked with a dot over here. So what I'm then going to do is just continue that ray of light from uh, through the lens, through the focal point, and just keep it going like this. So we've got just two rays of light uh, like that. Now, I guess there would probably be a third ray of light we could consider that goes through effectively. If there's a focal point here, then there's a similar one on this side. And we might think about a ray of light that goes through here and then comes across this. But I'm going to ignore that. Two rays of light is good enough for me. Now, in addition to the rays of light that come from the top of the object, there's also going to be rays of light that uh, come off the bottom. And rays of light that come off the bottom, as they move through the lens, they just keep going along the principal axis. So effectively, this is where the bottom of the object is going to be. And now the top of the object is where the rays of light cross over. So I'll just fill that in. And so this is my image. I'm going to draw the top of the arrow. And this really kind of shows that the, the object is flipped upside down. Now, for this one here, what we have is a real image. Now, it's real because what we have are real rays of light that cross over. The other thing about it in this case is that the, ob uh, the image is inverted which is just a posh way of saying it's upside down. And finally, the other thing is that uh, this uh, object here and the image, the image might well be magnified. Now, depending on where we put the object, sometimes we have a diminished image and sometimes it's enlarged. But what we have is um, a, something which has maybe been magnified. And there we go. That's how to construct a ray diagram for objects which are quite far away using a converging lens.